the students. Uh, this is Ariana, and Ariana is a very active member in our SAT club. And SAT means students, we're actually happy, okay? But uh, <laughs> it means uh, students against destructive decisions. It used to be called students against drunk driving, but we try to deal with a lot of different issues besides uh, drinking and driving, although we think that is a, a big issue. Um, but um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to ask Ariana some questions. And uh, Ariana is then going to give you the answers uh, to the public. And uh, we're going to invite you to the town hall meeting. And we'd love to have all of you come to it. But I better not say too much more about all of the answer to all of her questions. So the questions I'm going to give you. Well, Ariana, uh, who's, who uh, is going to be at this town hall meeting? Well, it's going to be at Choice High School, so the audience is going to be primarily made up of Choice High School students, but it's also open to the public. And we're going to have a lot of speakers, the main being Eric Munson, who is a man who speaks about underage drinking and drinking and driving on behalf of his daughter who was killed in a car accident when she decided to get into a car with the driver who had been drinking. And we're also going to have a panelist to answer questions. And Mr. Apple is going to be on the panel and Shayla Goodwin and also some students like myself and one of the other kids in SAD Ross. And you're going to share your stories, right? Mm -hmm. Are the panel, the questions that are going to go before the panel, are those also going to be, uh, is the audience also going to be allowed to address those? Yeah, the audience is going to be able to answer them and be participating as well. When is this event going to be? It's going to be next Wednesday, March 28th, and it's in the middle of the day. It goes from 11.45 to 2 o'clock. Now I know that most town meeting hall meetings, we've had several town hall meetings over the last few years. We have one every two years that we receive a grant from RUAD, reducing underage drinking, every two years for $500. That allows us to bring in a speaker and also to plan the event. But why are we not having it at night? Why did we think about changing it to the day? Well, underage drinking is for minors, and a lot of minors are students. And so we wanted to be able to get out of school where we could have all the students be able to listen in and participate in it. Yeah. And I'm inviting some of the students from our high school and our junior high to come to this. I don't know if you know it, but we have over 100 <coughs> students in our junior high and high school SAC club. We, last year, received the number one club of the year in the nation out of 10,000 clubs. And we're growing, we're huge. And I'm really, it, it, that's, you were asking me about why I'm still working. I guess it's because I enjoy what I'm doing and it gives me a chance to work with young people on these types, types of issues. Uh, is it gonna be just on texting and driving? Or on alcohol and substance abuse, or what was the other topic that I just mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm going to be talking a little bit on texting and driving because that's pretty much just as bad. And, but it's primarily going to be on underage drinking and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't phrase that question very well, did I? <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, what we're trying to do, why are we trying to keep those separate? Why are we talking about substance abuse and drinking and driving, and then later, why are we talking about the two at the same time? Uh, a lot of people, there's a debate that goes back and forth on whether texting and driving or drinking and driving is worse, and they're both extremely bad. We're trying to get rid of them all like, completely, and we don't want that debate to overshadow what we're trying to talk about with substance abuse and then uh, texting and driving. And we're hoping that the students and the teachers that are there, we're hoping that the adults that come, we've invited uh, 
the school board, we've, uh, we're going to go to uh, speak with KMES next week. Uh, I'm going to the county commissioners uh, meeting tomorrow, and I'm inviting everybody to this, uh, hoping that uh, people in, uh, have a chance to come in and see the town hall meeting.